Overnight we crossed the Red Sea, arriving in Sharm el Sheikh the next morning. From there our caravan of buses traveled deep into the heart of the Sinai Peninsula to visit St. Catherine's Monastery, which was built on the site where Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt and encountered God in the burning bush. For the first few hours we traveled north through the desert, parallel to the Gulf of Aqaba, and then we turned west, climbing into the mountains. The land was barren, and it was difficult to imagine that anyone could live here. But high in the mountains we encountered a small settlement of Bedouins, with their goats, and camels and pickup trucks. Further on we came upon a large statue of a coffee pot in the middle of a roundabout, which we took as a welcome sign. Nearby were some small stone houses and beyond that was the bus disembarkation area. From there we climbed into local taxis for a bumpy ride up a narrow road into the valley where the monastery is located. St. Catharines is located in a valley at an altitude of 5,000 feet in the shadow of Mount Sinai. It has the appearance of a medieval fortress, but it is the oldest Christian monastery in the world, with the oldest continually operating library having an enormous collection of ancient icons and manuscripts, second only to the Vatican. In the year 330 AD, Helena, the mother of Emperor Constantine, came here and ordered a chapel to be built and dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Over the years, donations grew and the chapel flourished, but raids by nomadic tribes also increased. In 530 AD, Emperor Justin ordered construction of a large defensible basilica to be built surrounded with a wall of red granite over 40 feet tall. In 640, after the Arab conquest of Egypt, Mohammed personally granted protection to the monastery. In 726, Emperor Leo III ordered the destruction of all sacred images. But due to its isolation, St. Catherine's was able to defy the order and retain its large collection of icons, some going back to the 4th century. For the same reason, they were able to build a large collection of ancient priceless manuscripts. Arriving at the monastery, we entered through an opening in the outer wall and then through an arched opening into what looked like a medieval village. The buildings were small and crowded together with small courtyards, narrow corridors with rounded arches, and a bell tower. The basilica is like a museum with 50 lamps overhead, icons and wall paintings from the 7th century, and a 6th century mosaic of the Transformation. Also here is the Moses Well, where Moses met Jethro's daughters and would eventually marry the oldest. In the Bible, Moses encounters God in a burning bush, and the monastery has a bush that they claim is the same as the original. The bush we are shown is a healthy but otherwise nondescript thorn bush with no signs of fire or light. As we make our return journey to the ship, I will comment on how the monastery got its name. St. Catherine was an early Egyptian Christian who was beheaded in 305 AD. In the 8th century, a monk claimed to find her preserved body on Mount Sinai and eventually her crowned skull was brought into the monastery where it remains today in a sarcophagus next to the altar. 
She was a popular saint during the Middle Ages, and as a result, many Christians made pilgrimages to the monastery.